All right, now in my yesterday's video, I discussed about a brand new feature which Samsung added on Samsung MyFind application that's called Lost Mode. And that feature is gonna be very useful when you lose your phone because you'll be able to lock your device remotely, you'll be able to track your device, and you can also display a contact number or a message so that if somebody finds your device, they'll be able to give you a call back and hand over your phone. All that can be done using a feature called Lost Mode on the Galaxy phone. And I demonstrated that feature using another device, another Samsung Galaxy phone. And some of you guys did ask me, what if you just have one Samsung device and what if you lose it? And will, you, will you be able to use this lost mode on your device or not? So this is the part two of that video. I will be discussing about how you can use the lost mode on your device even if you have one single device. You don't really need another Samsung device to lock your phone or use that lost mode feature uh, when you lose the phone. So without wasting any time, let's dive right into the video. Now, if you have missed my yesterday's video, let me quickly show you where is this feature. Let's go to Samsung Find application. And here, when you go to the devices, let me select a specific device here. Let's say S25 Ultra. It's over here. I'll tap on more and this is where you will see lost mode. You can see it says lost mode off. Now, since I've got another Samsung Galaxy phone, I'm able to use this lost mode on this phone to remotely lock the other device. Now, when you don't have a secondary phone or a tablet, what you need to do is you need to log into SmartThings Find website, the Samsung's own website on the web browser. Let's go ahead and do that now. We've got Samsung SmartThings Find website here. Let me tap on this. Let's go ahead and sign into this web page. Let me type my email ID and password. All right, now we have signed into this web page. As you can see, I have got all my device listed out on my on the left hand side. We have got the S24 Ultra, Watch 5 Pro, Watch 4 Classic, Galaxy Note 9, Tab S10 Plus, and Buds Live. Now on the right hand side, you can see we have got Ring, Lost Mode, Track Location, Erase Data, and Extend Battery Life. This is where we can enable Lost Mode for your Galaxy phone or Galaxy tablet if you lose it. Right here on SmartThings website, you will be able to enable this. Now here we get some additional options as well. Like you can see, we've got Ring option. Ring is there on the phone as well. Uh, when, you, when you see the phone here, you've got search nearby, navigate, lost mode off, but the ring option is in the previous page. But the additional option that you're going to get here is track location, erase data and extend battery life. You'll be able to completely erase the data and you can extend the battery life as well. Now let's try this out. Let's go ahead and tap on extend battery life. Let's see what happens. It says extend your battery life using maximum power saving mode. The mode's name depends on the device and software. While battery life is extended, data won't be backed up to Samsung Cloud. Let me tap on extend and let's see what happens on the phone. Here we go. It just turned on this power saving mode remotely. Now you will get some additional time to track your phone. That is just fantastic. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and enable lost mode on SmartThings uh, Find application, sorry, SmartThings Find website. Let's go ahead and do this. Let me just unlock the phone here. Let's say if this phone is stolen and somebody else is using this phone, what we can do is we can just go ahead and tap on lost mode here. Here it says lock screen, lock power off, lock Samsung Pass, lock Samsung Wallet. Uh, let me just tap on next and here you go. We can enter the pin. This will lock the phone. Now the phone is unlocked here. I have enabled the extend battery life. So I'll, I'll uh, select a pin here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll confirm the pin. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll enter the phone number also to be displayed on the lock screen. And the message is this phone has been lost and you can in the message here this phone is lost please call me on the above number now this will help only in the case where somebody has found your phone and they genuinely want to return your phone then this this information will be helpful you can display your phone number and your message on the lock screen so that the other person can check that out and return your phone but if the phone is lost if somebody has stolen it in that case, you'll be able to uh, enable this lost mode with the phone lock, a new pin, and you can also enable or uh, you can also extend the battery life uh, so that you can track the device and you can also lock Samsung wallet, etc. Now, what we'll do is, uh, let's say if somebody is using the phone here, uh, the phone is unlocked here on the screen, you can see. Now, I will go ahead and lock the phone. Let's see what happens here. Uh, okay, now again, I'll have to key in the password here. There it is. It has just locked the phone. It is displaying this message as well, the owner's phone number. And this phone is lost. Please call me on the above number. 
Now, like I said, if somebody wants to return the phone, they can see this number and return it. And if somebody has stolen the device and uh, they do not want to return it, they will not be able to use this device because the phone has been locked with a new password, new security, the new pin, and you cannot uh, you know, turn off this phone as well. You can't uh, open the quick panel. You can't press and hold on the side key. You cannot really press and hold on the so, uh, you know, uh, side key and uh, the volume down key to uh, power it off. When you do that, when you tap on power off, it says can't turn off because the phone has been locked remotely by Find My Mobile. And now we'll be able to track the phone on the website. We get extended time because you have enabled the extended battery life on the phone if you think it's stolen. And uh, you will also be able to erase data if you want it. Uh, you can do that on the on this website. And you can also track your device. You get some additional time to track it because you have enabled the uh, power saving mode on the device remotely and you'll be able to track the device. Now this is how we will be able to lock the phone or let's say use this feature lost mode on your Galaxy phone remotely on SmartThings Find website. So you don't really need another device, you don't really need another phone or another tablet to do this. You can do that on the device itself. So that answers your question. This is how you can enable lost uh, mode if you just have one Galaxy phone. I hope this video will be useful for all the Samsung Galaxy phone users. If it is, go ahead and hit that uh, like button for this video. Let's reach at least a thousand likes for the video. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel. You will get to learn a lot about your Galaxy phones, Galaxy watches, and a few other Android phones and iOS as well. Sometimes I do keep posting videos on the iOS comparison with the uh, Samsung's UI. So go ahead, check, the, check out the channel and subscribe to the channel to know your phone better. That's all I have here. If you have any questions, do drop a comment. Uh, I will try to answer as many uh, questions as possible and respond to as many comments as possible. Let me also tell you that this feature has been recently added with a new update to Samsung's Find application. If you haven't received it yet, uh, you will have to wait for it for a few more days to get this update. So just be wary of that. That's about it. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.